Hi, this is Ryla. Um, so, one thing about Riley, they're not the greatest singer. Um, <laughs> you'll often hear when he makes music, uh, he'll have his voice like this. Go in a bed with my nebula projector, fucking Cartier. And I've also got my squish mellows with me, including the cat. Because by having two different voices in slightly different ears, it's the same reason why a choir or a group of people can sound so fucking good is because your brain basically latches onto the best melodies. Fucking got him And I've also got my squished mellows with me Including the cat So that's another example Toning down, but the voice still has the same timbre Or the same feel or sound to it Where in the example that we're about to go to We've basically gotten rid of that And just allowed the voice to change with it So got my squish mellows with me, including the cat. But yes, there you go. There's a couple of different ways that we help our voice in the song. Because yeah, look, singing is not either of our strongest points. Like, look, okay, I joke about Raleigh being not being a great singer, but neither am I. I'm attached to the same voice box. Um, I think the difference is, is that I'm. I don't know. I really don't know. And then there's the fact we're both human. Our vocal tract can only go so far Please understand these are not criticisms I don't mean to belittle what we have But by finding the correct range I think we can do this pretty well And I don't know about you I reckon we've got this thing sorted out We've done pretty well so far 